so this is a dyeing video that I plan to do. It was highly requested, so I'm finally doing it. This is some Peruvian loose weight hair that was sent to me from Doll Virgin here on AliExpress. I will definitely insert some clips of how the hair originally came once I do the debut video of this wig that I'm making. Well, that I made already with this hair, but this is just a dyeing video. Um, the lengths of this hair are 16, which is the closure, and 18, 22, 24, and 24. I'm using three different colors, three different reds actually, for this look and you guys are going to absolutely love the outcome just as much as I did, I guarantee it. So just keep watching. So for the closure, because I know that that's going to be on the top, I made sure to use the brightest red for that. So I'm using Crimson by Adore. I'm using all Adore dyes, which is not that expensive. It's usually like $2.99 or $3.99 at your local beauty supply store. So go ahead and pick that up if you want to get this color. All the products used are going to be left down below in the description box. So look in the description box if you guys need any um, like links or anything. But um, back to the hair. So I'm, I already bleached the hair. And as you can see, the hair bleached lovely. Like I was so, so pleased with the way that it bleached. And I only bleached it once. But um, for the closure, I'm using both Crimson and Wild Cherry. Which is both um, kind of like bright reds. But... The darkest red that I have is Raging Red. I actually tried my best to let the crimson last for all of the bundles since that was the brightest one. And usually if you if this is your first dyeing video um, that you're watching on my channel, I usually like to use different hues of colors. Like just to give it, because I don't like, like my hair to just look like one color because I feel like it just looks too like blah so i like to like step outside of the box and just mix colors and see what i get and that's how you like experiment and see like what you like you know so i usually like to do that so i have two bottles of wild cherry two bottles of raging red and one bottle of crimson because unfortunately there was only one left so i had to make it work so um i'm gonna try to like make it last throughout the bundles as you can see what I also loved about the hair is that even after bleaching and I used 40 volume developer, the hair actually kept its like curl pattern. The only things that the closure that was sent to me was more of a deep wave pattern in opposed to the bundles. The bundles was more of like a loose wave as the hair texture was like named, but um, the closure was kind of more of a deep wave. But I love the fact that they actually sent a deep wave closure because it made the wig look more full. As you guys are going to see at the end of the video, it allowed the closure to like... It, it, it's, it's kind of like hard to explain, but it made the, the like the wig look way better than I actually expected it to look. So um, the dye, the bleach that you actually see in the roots of the hair really don't matter because it's going to be on the wig. But um, as you can see, I'm just applying the dye and I'm just mixing. I'm not doing anything in any specific way, just mixing as I go. Um, some of the hair, some of the bundles actually came out lighter than others, so it's going to take the color differently. So, whichever one is the lightest, that's going to be where the lightest shades of red are going to be. So, yeah. I honestly feel like when you mix hair dyes, it actually gives, like, a better color in opposed to just one. So, I feel like this combination will give the perfect red. It's not too, too bright. For people who don't want to walk around looking like Ronald McDonald. And it's not too dull for people who want to like step outside the box. So I feel like this color combo is like the perfect combo. And again, all the colors are going to be listed down below in the description box. And I hope you guys do. If you guys do end up like doing this color, please let me know and like tag me in a picture on Instagram or something. And like let me see because I'm telling you this combo. I don't, And I wasn't even planning to mix. I just like decided to pick up whatever reds I saw. And I was like in love with the way that it came out. Um, And again you don't have to have your hair too bright. In order for the color to show. Because as you can see this, this hair did not color that that bright. And I only bleached it once. If I was to bleach it again it kind of would have came out platinum. But I didn't want to damage it. So I just left it how it was. Because you guys know I usually color my hair with like platinum um hair so if you watched my last dyeing video you see that i did like this bucket method where i put all the dyes in a bucket and i just dipped each bundle in so that it thoroughly gets throughout each bundle so that the hair the color is actually distributed like evenly but uh, i really didn't feel like doing that this time because i just felt like it was just like gonna take up too much time and all of that stuff and i just felt like because i didn't know the way i wanted to apply the color I just was going to wing it, and so that's what I did. So the bucket method is not going to be in this video, as you can tell already. 
Um, but yeah, so once I'm finished applying the color thoroughly throughout each bundle, making sure I get all the blonde spots, because we don't want to have no orange hues anywhere in here. We want this to be red, like fire engine, nice cherry red, like as red as it can possibly get with the with, like with how light it bleached. So once that's done, I'm going to just wrap the hair up. And I left it for about five hours because I bleached this at like six o'clock and I didn't wash it out till like 11, no, till like... 11 30 ish so almost six hours but usually i leave here overnight but i was like in such a rush to do this because i wanted to hurry up and make the wig so um i just I didn't even do overnight so it was only five hours and once you see the results you're gonna like it's gonna look like i left it in overnight one of the main complaints with a door dye is that um people say that when they wash it out it kind of like lingers like the dye lingers in the hair and i had to wash this hair out about no lie like three times so when you do use a door please like make sure that you wash it out a good couple of times i use conditioner after washing it out just to get any bits of red out because i'm not trying to have this thing stain my clothes because i would be so upset like you don't even understand so um yeah make sure that you wash it out a good amount of time just to get all the dye out if there's any other colors that you guys would like to see in a dyeing video, please be sure to comment down below, like to let me know so I can try to get that done for you guys. Because even though dyeing hair may seem easy, not a lot of people, like a lot of people like videos like this to help them like see the process and the walkthrough and stuff like that. So I'm definitely here for that for you guys, like to help you guys with that. Because I change my hair color very often. Well, not as much as I used to, but yeah, I change my hair color pretty often. So if you guys have any colors specifically that you want to see, please let me know down below. Um, once the video is done, don't forget to subscribe, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, share the video on whatever social network you choose. And don't forget to like it so that we can have many more videos like this. Because I really, really love making videos for you guys. I don't think you guys understand. Um... Yeah, so I'm pretty much done with all of these bundles and I'm just wrapping everything up and just applying like the whatever crimson is left to the bundles and trying to get as much as I can. And then I'm going to wrap it up and show you guys the results. And I can't wait for you guys to see. So let me just shut up right now so that you guys can see. <laughs> so these are the results, guys. This picture is with Flash. And the next two pictures are without flash. And as you can see, the hair came out like exactly how I wanted it. I'm like so in love with this color and I cannot wait to debut this on my channel. So definitely stay tuned for the video where I debut it. And I will see all of you guys in my next video, which may be a video on how to, which it, well, it will be a video on how to um, correct a over bleach closure. So definitely look out for that. And I cannot wait to see you guys in my next video where you're actually going to see me and not hear me just talking on here. So I will see you guys again next time. Bye, babies.